Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, my name is Janelle and we do all things curly and then some. Today we will be reviewing Function of Beauty custom hair products and how they work on curly hair. What you can expect to see in this video is we will go through the purchasing process, talk about the cost, all that fun stuff, getting the product, and then what we will dive into is multiple uses of the product. You will see four, that's right, four different wash days. Not only will you get to see how they work in action, but you'll get my in the moment thoughts as I'm using them and how they are working for my hair. Timestamps will be listed down in the description. And then of course, at the end of the video, we will go over my final thoughts on these products. All right, let's get into it. As kind of expected with custom products, you go onto their website and they survey with a variety of questions to start to cater the products towards your needs. Something cool to know about these products in general is that they are vegan, they are cruelty free, they are sulfate and paraben free, they're customized in the USA, and they have a focus on sustainability. And they do also give you the option to opt for or out of silicone. On the very first page, the first thing that they ask you when you are creating these products is essentially for your hair profile. So they ask, is your hair straight? Is it wavy? Is it curly? Is it coily? Is it fine? And how is your scalp? And in terms of scalp, it's like, is it dry? Is it normal? Or is it really oily? And then they ask you to pick five top goals. You know, what are your hair goals for your hair? What do you want out of your products? And then you get into picking your fragrance. So for my hair profile, I listed my hair as curly, fine and that I have a normally dry scalp. For my goals, I picked anti-aging, curl definition, lengthen, reduce brassiness, so that orange tint, yellow tint that can happen in your ends due to hard water and sun exposure, and volumize. Something that they do also offer is um, you can select your fragrance, you can select the amount of fragrance, um, or you can select no fragrance. I chose to go with the True Lavender fragrance. I requested the scent to be medium. I don't like an overbearing scent. So then they do also give you the option if you would like silicones in your shampoo and conditioner. I personally like to avoid silicones when and where I can. I do like them on occasion, but in general, I would rather not have them in my products. So my shampoo and conditioner formula is silicone free as well. Once you get through your hair profile, then you get to the option, the purchasing option. And so their initial package is essentially a shampoo and conditioner, and then everything else comes as add-ons. So you have multiple purchase options. Um, the best deal is to purchase the shampoo and conditioner together, um, and you can do that in eight ounce, or you can do that in 16 ounce options, but you do also have the options to purchase just the shampoo, just the conditioner. When you purchase the eight ounce shampoo and conditioner set, it is a total of $39.99. Um, that was the size that I opted for, and that essentially breaks down to about $19 each, so 19 for shampoo, 19 for conditioner. They do also have the 16 ounce sizes, which is $49.99 uh, for the shampoo and conditioner. And that breaks down to about $24 each. So these products definitely fall on the high side in terms of cost of products for curly hair. I opted for the eight ounce sizes because I wasn't sure how I was going to like it, but in the future, um, I'll probably be buying it again, sneak peek. But in the future, I'll likely go for the 16 ounce because it's ultimately only a $5 difference per bottle to get an additional eight ounces per bottle. Um, I don't think I will ever purchase them separately because um, I think separately their prices are ridiculous. The shampoo and conditioner, if purchased on their own, 16 ounce is $39.99, eight ounce $29.99. And I'm Sorry, <laughs> I'm not here for that. Package deal or no deal. <laughs> then you also have the option of adding on the hair mask, 7.5 ounce hair mask for $19.99, eight ounce leave-in for $19.99. Then there's a three ounce hair serum for $24.99. Then once you get to shimp shipping, something that's kind of cool is they do have an auto ship program. So you can opt to have the product shipped once every month, every three months, or every six months, or you can just do a one-time purchase. The cool thing with the auto ship is that it includes free shipping, whereas um, if you just do the one-time purchase, I believe it's about $7.99 for shipping, just depending on where you're at. I initially purchased the entire lineup, the shampoo, the conditioner, the hair mask, the leave-in, and the serum, and the grand total for that with tax was $114.96. 
Ooh. They include shipping, so shipping is free um, if you opt into an auto delivery. I did that. The good thing is you can cancel at any time, so I figured might as well get my discounts. I signed up for a three month and th there you go. One thing that did have me a little bit concerned on their website is I didn't really have the ability to see all of the ingredients other than the main things that they mentioned, no sulfates, I opted for no silicones. I really had no idea of what was going to be in the product. But what's cool is once they show up, they actually come Come with a little pamphlet um, function of Janelle breaks down your profile goals that you indicated and the fragrance that was selected so then with inside this pamphlet it breaks down the regimen that you should follow with the products how to apply them when to apply them etc and then it also includes a detailed full ingredient list for all the products so I think we got the breakdown the intro breakdown there's not much more we can say until I've actually tried the products so let's jump into the first use and unboxing is it obvious that the last few days have been kind of rough? <laughs> Between the election and a sinus infection, don't worry, it's not the Rona. <laughs> My body has been through it. So perfect timing for a shower. <laughs> As with most things that you order online, it comes in a box. <laughs> what I did think was cute and a nice little touch is it has function of Janelle right on the label. Do y'all care about unboxings? Do you like to see like the whole process or do you just want the juice? Let me know for future videos down below. These come separate. Function of Janelle leave-in hair mask and then of course the conditioner and shampoo. So I'm pretty sure I ordered the serum with them as well. I'm gonna have to double check my email um, but it's okay. I'm not super worried about the serum. I was mainly getting it to show all of y'all, but, um, now looking at the ingredients, I'm actually kind of glad I didn't because it does have, uh, dimethicone in it and I don't like dimethicone. Um, and it's also not a water soluble version of dimethicone. So, which is also weird that it has dimethicone in the ingredients because I'm 99% positive that I selected no silicone formula. I don't know why they would include a serum that has um, dimethicone anyways. Yeah, there's actually a lot of uh, silicones that were supposed to be in there. Ew. So, <laughs> I guess that worked in my favor. For this very first wash, I'm going to follow their uh, directions to the T. I will be shampooing, conditioning, and then their hair mask, um, they do advise to follow your normal hair routine of shampooing and conditioning um, after rinsing out the conditioner, then section hair into quarters and distribute the mask onto damp hair. I'm also not going to use any other stylers. For this wash, we'll use some for the future washes, but for this wash, I'm just going to use their products so I can really get a feel of how they perform. So I'm not taking you in the shower with me today because I'm, I don't feel good and I have no desire to get in a swimsuit and I just want to enjoy my shower. I'm gonna do the thing, shampoo, condition, hair mask, and then I will see you on the flip side to apply leave-in. I feel better. First thing is here is my hair fall. Shampoo was a lot more runny than I expected, um, and it was also a lot more moisturizing than I expected. I was able to actually detangle for the most part with my shampoo. Conditioner was nothing amazing, um, and it had a pretty loose consistency, um, but I will say I was pretty surprised by how much slip it had for how like lightweight it was. And then for the hair mask, she's thick. I liked this a lot. They come with these tops, so if you need to travel or take them with you, you can completely close them off. The another thing that I thought was cool um, are these little caps. It's like a rubber plug, but if you do need to re-secure it, you have that reinforcement. Now I'm gonna add leave-in. It does advise to apply to damp hair. Um, most of my hair is damp. I am going to re-wet my grays, so I'm gonna be a little bit generous. because I'm not gonna be using any product. And I'm actually gonna rake it through a little bit. I can't believe I'm raking my hair, y'all. I guess I use brushes. I don't know why it's that big of a deal, but I'm dramatic, we've established that. <laughs> so using about the same on this side, I'm gonna add a teeny bit more water all over just so I can get a slight squish. One, two more pumps. I'm going to flip, smooth, and scrunch. You can hear it's just a slight squish. 
squishing. Product is in, I'm going to air dry, I'm gonna diffuse for like the last five minutes just for a boost of volume, and I will see you once it's dry. So, I'm kind of like happily surprised. First and foremost, my hair feels balanced. It feels not overly moisturized, but moisturized. It doesn't feel like it's in need of anything. The things that I think I'm the most surprised by are A, the definition I have with just leave-in and the fullness. I have like root to tip fullness that I don't normally have when I just use leave-in. For perspective, my hair almost feels like it has like a little bit of volumizer in it. One thing that drives me a little crazy about my grays is that especially up here and especially on wash day, a lot of times they give off the appearance of like really thin and scraggly and it's because of the separation of the grays and the rest of my hair. My, my gray hairs are substantially more coarse. Um, I mean they're almost like double the size of the rest of my hair strands. And so when they're not all going in the same direction, when they're not clumping up, when they're not, the curls aren't forming, it really makes this section look really thin. And it does not look thin right now. My hair does not feel heavy at all. Look at that definition. So short from breakage. It's not layering, that's breakage. I do just leave in a lot, but like I don't, I normally can expect my hair not to look volumized and as much definition, um, and then also not as much clumping. Um, typically, if I just use a leave-in, my hair gets the more separated ropey curls, which I love, I'm not knocking, but it doesn't always really work for this gray area, and you know, it normally takes a day or two for my hair to kind of bounce back. To say it was a bomb first time wash is an understatement. Let's see how it performs on the next wash. It's time for wash number two, y'all. I am feeling like this might be my new favorite leave-in. Today is technically day five. Um, the thing is with my wash day is I wash towards the end of the day, so technically just hitting day five now. Um, but for day two and day three, I didn't refresh all, at all. Day four, I did use a refresher. My hair didn't have much hold, but let me just tell you, my hair over those two days felt so full and so moisturized, I was pretty shocked. So I'm really genuinely hoping that what I experienced on the first wash is what happens on the second wash and even better because I'm gonna use some styling products today. I'm gonna jump in the shower and I will see you when it's time to apply stylers. Shower is done. Wonderful. This is it for this wash. One thing I forgot actually that I didn't mention before is how tangle free my hair stayed um, over the course of a few days. Obviously with no stylers in it, um, it's less less likely to get tangled anyways because there's nothing you know keeping it in place. Even with just using leave-ins, a lot of times I can still get tangles and stuff um, as my hair is depleted of moisture. And I noticed that I had so few tangles um, from the first wash and I was really surprised by that. What I decided to do for this wash is just the shampoo and just the conditioner. Um, I used the hair mask last wash. My hair is still really moisturized, but I also really wanna see if the leave-in is as moisturizing as I think it is or if it was the combination of both. Hair being wet, it feels super moisturized. It feels like I already have leave-in in it. Even my grays, this area, seems like it's maintaining more moisture and it's less frizzy than it is normally at this point in my air drying. But first gonna do the leave-in, smooth it, I kind of rake it through because I'm gonna use a brush. And now before we add gel, we're gonna use the Tangle Teaser. I tried this for the first time yesterday refreshing and I really liked the separation in my curls. Not really specifically focusing on breaking it up section by section, just more so making sure product is saturated. Gonna add a little bit more water, take another squirt of the leave-in, I'm gonna scrunch into these areas and just kind of directing those curls with the grays. With my head still flipped over, just gonna go with one of my all-time favorites, the Weedad Advanced Climate Control Gel. About a quarter size amount. Now just gonna smooth and scrunch in. 
Okay, stylers are in. I will see you when we are all dry with some results. And we're back. Not quite as much definition as on the first wash, but that was done intentionally with the brush. I really like how this looks and how it feels. It still feels super moisturized. It really feels like there's no product in it. I think the thing that I'm noticing and liking the most is how much definition and curl is actually starting to happen in my grays. Even this one is normally pretty straight and it's starting to get a little bit of its curl back. And this one, look at that nice little clump. All right, I'll see you on wash day three. And we're back with wash number three. <laughs> Y'all, if I am squinting through most of this, it's because my allergies are going wild and they are so sensitive to light right now. So I'm hoping it adjusts. Well, as you can see, my hair is already washed. In the shower, I did the shampoo, the conditioner. Um, then I did the hair mask, but I only did it for maybe like five minutes or so. Rinsed out, and then I actually applied the leave-in in the shower. So I applied about two pumps of the product. Um, I smoothed it over the canopy, and then I like to whip it under the shower head again to add that last burst of water and then also to like bring my curls back into place um so that it's not all like broken up and stuff before i have a chance to style here is the hair fall from this wash i had no detangling or refreshing in between so as you can already see there's a lot of definition um even in my grays i really love this leave-in we're gonna um layer it with one of my all-time favorites it's the allocay naturals creme brulee um, i love this because it is uh gives a ton of definition without any weight so i'm using a decent amount of this gonna smooth scrunch see with just that little bit of scrunching you can see how much more it's already clumped hopefully y'all can tell how much um the creme brulee added to the clumping and the hold. I'm gonna follow the same drying routine that I do almost every single time. I'm gonna air dry until I'm about 80, 90% of the way dry. Then I will diffuse um, until I'm 100% dry. Then I will root clip for a few minutes and then I will check back in with you so we can see final results. And we have results for wash day three. Y'all, I love how this leave-in paired with the styler. Um, this leave-in just kind of seems like it's almost like replacing the need for a volumizer. It doesn't really have grit, so of course if you like like a volume foam that gives grit, leave-in's not gonna quite do that for you, but for me this gives me that like look of overall fullness that I like from a volumizer, which is why I use them. And it seems like almost for certain that all of the yellow and the orange that was in my hair is now finally gone. Um, so I would say as far as like actually reducing brassiness, if you select that for your cleanser, um, it actually does the job. All right, I will see you on wash day three, day two hair. <laughs> and y'all are getting a day four. <laughs> Still a little sick, um, but my hair needs some TLC. I guess that's kind of self-explanatory. <laughs> I wanted to try one last thing with these products. My hair is fine and like medium to low density. Um, I tend to use deep conditioners more often as a pre-poo treatment versus using them after shampoo. And the biggest reason I do this is that a lot of times um, I need that moisture from a deep conditioner, but it can be too heavy for my hair. I'm going to pre-poo with the deep conditioner, and then I'm just going to use the shampoo, and then I'm going to air dry, and we're gonna see how that works. Now, one of the ways you can tell if you have a really good daily cleanser is that it's not stripping your hair. With the exception of clarifying shampoos, you wanna have a cleanser, foaming or not, that is really not stripping your hair of moisture. Pretty much all of my favorite shampoos, I can just cleanse after pre-pooing, and have pretty balanced moisturized hair. So thick, also kind of silky. Texture wise, it honestly reminds me of the Diva Curl Heaven and Hair. That was one of my long time, <laughs> like long time, I'm talking probably close to 10 year uh, favorite deep conditioners, but I stopped using it <laughs> for some of you fairly obvious reasons. Wasn't worth the risk and I wanted to stand in solidarity with those that have had issues. Last thing I'm gonna do is just take a tangle brush, 
really detangle and also just make sure my hair is completely saturated. Last thing I'm gonna do, lop in a shower cap. Lazy girl curl training. <laughs> so shower cap's important to trap the heat in. <laughs> I'm gonna leave this on for probably about 30 minutes, watch some reruns of Housewives, and I will see you once I'm done shampooing and my hair is completely dry. And we are dry. Y'all, I think I might be in love. So obviously with my grays, we've talked about this area. In general, even before my grays grew in, this was probably the area of my hair that had um, the least amount of curl pattern always. But like, look at this just from shampoo. My hair feels clean. It doesn't feel overly stripped at all. Um, and it feels moisturized. I've never researched this, but just in my thought process, I would think that um, like purple shampoos, um, anything that's meant to like strip your hair or tone your hair would potentially be a little bit more drying. And this really is, isn't. My hair loss was normal. Prior to shampooing, this is what I lost with detangling. All right, y'all, it's time for some final thoughts. All right, y'all, let's wrap this up with some final thoughts. I did mention that the serum was missing in my package. I did originally order it. So I went back and forth on if I should even order it. And then funny enough, it doesn't show up. And then I was relieved because when I looked at the ingredients, it was chock full of silicone. So I'd actually emailed them. I essentially told them if there was an option for a, a silicone free formula, if they could send that. But if there wasn't, if they could just refund them, I emailed them November 6th at 5:24 PM. And they had responded November 7th at 8, 19 AM. And and what they essentially said was that just to save on their footprint, they were going to refund me. Um, so I don't know for sure if there is a silicone free option, but I was happy with the refund. I don't really care about serums that much. I'm happy with what I have. So I was, it was kind of a win-win. I was really impressed with that really quick customer service. I don't know that I've ever gotten a customer service email that quickly um, back from a business, especially on a weekend. Something I also wanted to show you is how much I've used of each product. Um, I've used the shampoo four times now, probably filled about here. So if we say four, eight, 12, 16, eh, probably about 20 washes out of that, give or take. Conditioner, quite a bit more out of the conditioner, I would say, so if this was, I think this was only three washes, so we'll say three, six, nine, maybe 12 out of the conditioner for the eight ounce bottle. Hair mask, about nine uses, give or take out of this. And I slather my deep conditioners on. Then for the leave-in, 16 give or take washes with that. I think as you've kind of gathered, I am in love with the shampoo, I'm in love with the mask, um, and I am in love with the leave-in. I'm in love with it. I think it is probably my new favorite leave-in. There's no questions asked, I will be repurchasing this again. I don't think the conditioner is great, I don't think it's bad. Um, it's kind of that like in between. It doesn't have a ton of slip for me, but that could also be because of my formulation. So if you like, I didn't actually specify that I wanted more moisture, that kind of thing. So, um, potentially based on your formulation, you might get more slip. Um, so it's not like a, I have to have that conditioner. Um, but honestly, I don't really have a lot of regular conditioners that I feel that way about. So that also could just be, you know, who I am as a person. So those three products are a definite, like no question I would purchase again. Also, as I mentioned earlier in the video, because of the way their pricing is set up, I will never buy the shampoo and the conditioner separately. So when I purchase it again in the future, I will just buy likely just the lineup. I just want to throw this out there. This is day three hair from when I last washed with the products. Um, I do have some stylers. I did end up adding, adding some like leave-in and stylers and stuff to it, but it refreshed beautifully. I'm just kind of in love and I'm really genuinely surprised. I was also surprised because I feel like their hair profile I've checked out a few custom hair brands. I'm going to be reviewing more in the future. If there's another brand that you'd really like to see, comment that down below. I was a little apprehensive because it seemed like their questionnaire was fairly simple um, in comparison to others that I was seeing. So I was kind of expecting products that just didn't really match me is, the, is really the truth. To my surprise, <laughs> I'm kind of in love and I'm a little shocked by it. So, all right, y'all, we've been talking about this so long. It got dark. <laughs> 
I think I'm funny. Thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Again, if it was your first time here, my name is Janelle. We do all things curly and then some. If you haven't already subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it to turn on post notifications so you do not miss a thing. And I will see you next time. Bye!